Hi everyone, my name is Matt Pickett and the elicitation technique that I'm going to be presenting on is the joint application development. So what is a JAD? Um, joint application development is my favorite definition that I've read was a structured workshop. And throughout this presentation, you'll notice that um, the structured part of this is very important and that it's actually key in defining uh, what a JAD is. So it's a combined business analysis approach that solves a problem in which a large number of stakeholders are interested. So you will have a large audience, it'll be a large group, um, and it's a way to do just that, just to, to solve problems and um, look at the progress of uh, the development team. Um, it's believed to be faster uh, for development time and it leads to higher client satisfaction. So one of the problems with common work meetings is that as you begin to develop and you know you get deep into code in one of your um, your products, you start to lose track of like the main goal, the main direction of the product. Um, and that is something that stakeholders um, do very well is they keep in mind the big picture of things and how they want things done. Um, so a JAD is a perfect solution for that type of problem. Um, it's, it's able to have the stakeholders present so they can ensure that the development process is headed in the right direction and that problems can be solved. Uh, when done correctly, um, a JAD can ensure that um, the requirement specification process is faster and more efficient. So what makes uh, this technique um, different? What makes it unique? Um, it's often compared to brainstorming. There's a couple similarities um, with the JAD and brainstorming in the sense that there are many topics that are going to be covered. Uh, with brainstorming, what happens is that you might be a little more creative and you might have different ideas that go all over the place and there's tangents. In contrast with the JAD, um, it's very structured and you do want to go over a lot of items, but you want to make sure that the items, the agenda is pre-established. Whoever is conducting the meeting is going to make sure that everyone invited knows what their, what the topics are and what will be covered. Um, and since in this meeting you'll have uh, stakeholders and lots of people included, it's best not to get caught up on the technical issues. Um, a simple example of this uh, would be to not focus so much on the font or a color, but instead you want to focus on content and efficiency. The success of a JED require, uh, relies mainly on the skills of the session leader. So you do want to have someone who knows what they're talking about and knows the operations maybe of the company, um, understands how your development team works, uh, who they can trust, who can get things done, and who is also someone who's trusted by the stakeholders. Uh, the stakeholders are going to want someone um, they can trust in and who can get things done. And the session leader does play an important part in um, a couple different aspects of the JAD. Um, what should you include in this type of meeting? Uh, something important is that you want to have um, a prototype that's very uh, appropriate for this type of meeting, um, especially throughout the development process. You can go to the stakeholders and show them, this is what we've done so far. This is what the product looks like, and that way they will be able to look at the, uh, the requirements that need to be met. They can problem solve uh, much easier, and a visual representation um, makes it a lot easier to give that kind of feedback uh, that the development team wants, and that in return gives them a direction. 
Um, participation and commitments from managers is an essential part of the JAD. Um, this way, all parties are aware of the steps to fulfilling requirements. So I know that when I've been given responsibilities and I've had um, a large audience, managers, um, you have people who, who know that you've been given an assignment. When it's done in that large group, um, the accountability goes way higher. You're much more likely to get that item done um, correctly and on time. So that's um, an advantage of, of doing the JAD is that you have the, uh, the accountability. The session leader does play an important part of conflict resolution and progression of the meeting. Um, you want to make sure that no items are left off the agenda. Um, if you're done talking or you've ran out of time for talking about one um, problem, it's time to move on to the next problem. Um, that structure is important, and, and you have to have someone um, who, can, who can do this, who can get this done. So some of the advantages, um, first off, would be reduce time and cost for the elicitation uh, requirement process. Um, oftentimes I've been in meetings that could have been sent in an email and that is not going to be the case with the JAD. Um, it's strictly for problem solving and getting through as many items as you can. Um, and that way maybe you can reduce um, a week's worth of meetings in one meeting. Um, and that, in return, caught, uh, saves a ton of money on um, on man labor hours. So uh, another advantage would be improved communication throughout development. Uh, while you're having these these JADs to cover um, a large scale direction of the product, it's going to make sure everyone's on the same page. And as well, it's going to make sure that conflict resolution um, is done throughout the process. And it's always better to get um, conflict resolution done before it becomes a bigger problem. Some of the disadvantages is that uh, since it's a large group, um, all participants may not be equally involved. Um, that is an important part. Um, um, for this next part, analysis are limited in their ability to judge consens consensus in real time. Um, if there is a large problem throughout the company and it is a strictly structured uh, meeting, you might not you might miss that feedback from from your group of people who maybe they feel a certain way. You're unaware of um, you know these these harsh feelings in your development group. So some things to remember is that um, the main goals of the JED have been established before the meeting takes place. It's a pre-structured meeting. Um, it's a good idea to bring a prototype, and it's a large group setting with all parties invited. Um, thanks for watching, and that is the JED technique.